हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर सिराज अलफैसी आई वेलकम यू इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट रोटेरी इवेपोरेटर सो लुक एट दिस पिक्चर दिस इज शीलर एंड दिस इज द रोटा इवेपोरेटर now thermodynamic background you know solid liquid gas solid converted to liquid by melting liquid converted to gas by evaporation gas condensation forming liquid liquid solidification forming solid and solid sublimation give gas a gas resublimation give solid this is thermodynamic background of rotary evaporator now you see liquid you are heating evaporation vapor vapor condensation cold then it become liquid so this process is known as distillation to evaporate a liquid energy has to be applied in form of heat to condensate vapor the same amount of energy must gain again be removed the combined process is called distillation so effect of pressure on boiling point the higher the ambient pressure the higher the temperature of the boiling point the lower the ambient pressure the lower the temperature of the boiling point some actual examples you can see sea level pressure one bar boiling point of water 100 degrees celsius now you can see here ice you can see here so how were mean surface temperature around 480 degrees celsius so water would have already boiled away so definitions vacuum distillation distillation under reduced pressure distillation under reduced pressure now you know the distillations just keep in your mind under reduced pressure make use the pressure boiling point correlations make use the pressure and boiling point correlations high boiling point substance can be distilled at lower boiling point temperature quick and gentle evaporation process prevents damage to temperature sensitive substances effect of pressure on boiling point atmospheric pressure and vacuum low pressure high boiling point and low boiling point vacuum low pressure low boiling point so air molecule you can see in atmosphere pressure and solvent molecule air molecules yellow and blue one solvent molecule so vapor and liquid you can see in vacuum low pressure vapor phase and vapor phase of atmospheric pressure now condenser you know this is condensation here condenser energy removal condenser means energy removal condensate you can see purple line solvent or analyte is going in condenser energy remove vapor heating bath thermal energy heating bath and thermal energy now which are the most important parameter to enhance the distillation process 
with rota vapor. Quotations by R. Egil application expert for rota vapor. In summary, it can be declared that the relative distillation performance of a rotary evaporator mostly depends on the following parameters. Rotation speed of the flask, initial or initiations of a force conversion, convictions of the solvent, size of the evaporating flask affect the surface available for the energy transfer, temperature gradient between heating bath, solvent vapor and cooling agent. Now you can see so evaporation performance heating bath temperature 50 RMP 150 RMP 244 RMP use high temperature for high distillation rate to find the optimum condition three temperatures should be it will heating bath temperature, vapor temperature, cooling agent temperature. So del T minimum 20 degrees Celsius. So T1, T2 and T3. Whereas at 20 degrees Celsius, correlations has been found to be the most efficient. Apply the del T rule to have the best compromise between energy uses and efficiency. So heating bath temperature, vapor temperature, cooling agent temperature. For example, parameter 20, 40, 60. Cooling temperature 20 degrees Celsius, vapor temperature 40 degrees Celsius, heating temperature 60 degrees Celsius. So del T minimum 20 degrees Celsius, del T minimum 20 degrees Celsius. Remember the pressure need to be adjusted to get the desired vapor temperature using the vapor pressure relationship. Examples distillations of water, heating temperature 60 degrees Celsius, vapor temperature 40 degrees Celsius and cooling temperature 20 degrees Celsius. Distillation of diethyl ether, heating temperature 55 degrees Celsius, vapor temperature 35 degrees Celsius, cooling temperature 50 degrees Celsius. List of solvent to get desired boiling point. Now, high condensation level, too low pressure. This is condensation zone. Emission of solvent vapor, short life of vacuum pump, sample lows, contaminations, low condensation level, too high pressure, no evaporation, slow overall process. Carefully adjust both speed of evaporation and speed of condensation in order to maintain the optimum evaporation. Optimum approx. 3 by 4 loading overload 4 by 4 loss of solvent trough vacuum source make sure the condenser is loaded approx 75 percent for the most efficient evaporation now brief assumptions approx 4004 degree rotator evaporator or similarly similar equipment to use worldwide solvent throw, uh, throughput 1 liter per hour 4 working hours per day solvent loss of 10 percent so 1 lakh 60,000 liter of solvent are being discharged into environment every day Effect of solvent loss, low solvent recovery, you can see the positions. Financial loss, water and air pollutions, harmful emission for operators. 
carefully check the main and maintain all connectors threads joints ducts and seat in order to prevent the solvent loss now heat transfer during evaporation A static evaporating flask rotating evaporating flask free convection minimum surface solo temperature equalizations solo evaporation force convection by turbulence increase surface quick temperature equalizations fast evaporation now correlation of rotation speed versus evaporation performance evaporation performance milliliter per hour rotation speed you this can see in case of acetone in case of water now correlation of rotation speed versus evaporation performance optimum rotation speed is at 280 rmp high evaporation output and guarantee for a long lasting life of rotary evaporator too high speed may cause problem such as spillage vibrations mechanical bearing use an optimum rotation speed 280 now no or few seeds for bubbles solo convection current overheated liquids immediately explosive evaporation at surface air bubbles tear large portion of liquid off reduce bumping by forced convection stirring shaking rotating liquid or by using boiling chips heat transfer from heating bath to the solvent flask contains solvent heating bath medium gas of evaporating flask heat transfer heat transfer heat production conductions now heat transfer from the heating bath to the solvent you can see here the acetone and water thickness of glass in mm evaporation performance heat transfer from heating bath to the solvent glass thickness optimum wall thickness range flask thickness of 1.8 mm for 1 liter flask is ideal the optimum ratio of high heat transfer efficiency along with high safety use 1.8 mm flask for best results at highest safety now level of heating media more heat transfer through larger surface area evaporating evaporation performance you see 0.25 liter and 4 liter use larger flask for gently generally better evaporation performance now weighted surface and weighted surface so flatted flatter angles more weighted surface inside the flask sleeper angles less weighted surface inside the flask use a flat immersion angle for a better evaporation performance so you can see several different immersion angle position to adopt different flask sizes and flask filling levels adjust the immersion angle to the specific application 30 degree 25 degree and here 20 degree you can see here rmp so friends hope this video will be helpful to you if you like this video then subscribe my channel and thanks for watching here you see surface of cooling area temperature of cooling media transport of gas through equipment